Hello and good day. Uh, today uh, we're going to uh, swap out a, a stove. Uh, you could be swapping out a older stove to a newer stove or a used one to a you know an upgraded uh, another used one. Uh, whatever the case is, uh, we made this video to help uh, others out um, uh, with their installation as we ran into a few problems. <clears throat> um, typically um, these the newer models they come without uh, power cords uh, what, what what's needed leveler you could use a plier set of lock jaws or crescent wrench as long as the flatter the better uh, what we're talking about the reason why we have those <clears throat> we have the feet down here and as you can see if, if you're not able to uh, to to tighten or loosen it with your hand you can use uh, one of those three uh, items this is also where the um, leveler comes in okay uh, what we ran into uh, the problem we ran into is uh, placement of the wire our current one um, in this case we use uh, our old one um, go ahead and inspect your wire uh, your connection make sure make sure there's no cracks in it um, you know obvious uh, electrical burns are on and, and by all means get it changed out now um, since we're dealing with um, uh, electricity you can at your your option turn off the power but in this case we're um, what we're doing is we're 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 just swapping out the the uh, electrical cord okay <clears throat> So this electrical cord is good to go. Here's the old oven, right? In the back, you have access panels and you have some information on there. Okay, previously we took this panel off. Uh, some other tools needed. Quarter, for in this case, I guess the uh, standard uh, hex or a socket we used was a quarter inch. For each stove it's going to be different. So we went ahead and removed uh, our connection. In this case we had a four wire hookup. Okay after <clears throat> inspecting your cord one of the things you want to do is uh, uh, clean your connections. For this one we went ahead and took a wire brush to the blades. All right, uh, for us, we we got a new stove, and um, it does come up with uh, uh, a little schematic. Okay, if you have a three wire hookup, that's what it's going to look like. Four wire. Now, um, some people have questions about where do I get the uh, put the wires in this case it's pretty straightforward we got black to black okay white to white red to red and look ground <clears throat> it was fed through this opening at the bottom and as you can see we inspected this we cleaned it we put it in now the thing we ran into was uh, um, uh, the appliance itself was not was not high enough. If you look, we have a, a space now between between here and here enough for this to um, go under when we push it back. So um, this is where we needed to raise the uh, appliance up. Now, if you have questions about the the width of stoves, there. They're standard. They come, uh, they all come in a standard width. The exceptions are uh, like a fridge. The older ones are 30 inches. Uh, the newer fridges are anywhere from 35 on up. But if you have a question about the width, they should be the same. They're all standard. Okay. Uh, if you have another person to help you out. Um, one will be on the floor uh, raising it up uh, 
or lowering each foot. Front, you have this one here. Of course, in front, level the back, placing this in the rear, and letting your um, uh, your helper or person know which you know if you want your foot up and down. And then um, you want to level that way as well. But in this case, um, we needed to raise the whole entire um, appliance. So uh, when we push back the uh, um, uh, our new stove, uh, the uh, cord was able to uh, sufficiently um, uh, go in the back or under, and uh, so we could put, push it all the way back flush. Again, tools needed, crescent wrench, uh, pliers, and lock jaws for the feet, slotted or uh, uh, Phillips head, in this case quarter, um, quarter inch socket, light, another person, level, um, I hope this helps, thank you, bye.